Hello everyone, my name is Ji Wang. I'm a PhD student from UCLA, supervised by Professor Jason Kong. I'm glad to present our work named AutoSA, a polyhedral compiler for high performance system arrays on IPJs. With the end of denial scaling and the slowdown of Moore's law in the past decade, we are entering a new age with the Cambrian explosion of domain specific architectures. Of all these domain specific architectures, system array is an important candidate that has been widely adopted in many recent designs. As an example, among the five chips designed for deep learning applications in this slide, three of them use the system array architecture as their core compute engines to accelerate the computation of matrix operations. Let's now take a closer look at this architecture system array. The figure in the middle shows a two-dimensional system array for matrix markation. Each P computes one element of the matrix C. The data of the input matrix A and B are skewed and sent to P's along the boundary. Then, at each cycle, the data of matrix A and B are injected into the array in a rhythmic manner. Each P receives the data of matrix A and B from neighbors, performs the local computation to update elements of matrix C, and passes the operand data to the other neighbor P's. Finally, when all the P finish the computation, the final results of matrix C are drained out from the array. With a massive number of P's, this array extracts parallelism of application and achieves high performance. In addition, the local interconnect reduces the data movement and maximizes the locality, achieving high energy efficiency at the same time. This benefits and makes this story an ideal architecture for many application domains, such as deep learning, genomics, and etc. However, to fully unleash the potential of these stories, there is a significant obstacle lying in front of us. That is, designing system arrays is never an easy job. Designing system array requires expert knowledge of both the software and hardware. On the software side, starting from the code of the input application, designers need to identify the system array execution pattern from the application, transform the algorithm to describe a system array. Next, on the hardware side, given the target hardware, designers need to optimize the macro architecture of the system array to achieve the maximum performance and write a hard hardware code for the target platform. Each of these steps takes significant efforts, making designing C stories a challenging task. The quest for making designing C stories easier is a major motivation of this project. Specifically, the goal of our project is to provide an automated compression flow for generating high performance system arrays on IPJ, thus reducing the programming efforts of this C story architecture. Automatic C-Story generation has been an area that has been long studied. However, coming to designing C-Stories in the real world, we found this work hardly being used, while manually designing C-Stories remains known. To understand this situation, we look further into a few representative previous works. When assessing these frameworks, we consider three metrics, generality, performance, and productivity. Generality-wise, the compilation framework should be able to handle applications as general as possible. One of such examples is to support applications with encrypted next loops and multiple sediments. Performance-wise, the performance of the general system arrays should match the menu designs as much as possible. To achieve such a goal, the framework should cover as many hardware optimizations as possible. Such examples include latent hiding and double buffering. Lastly, as for the productivity, we hope the framework to shorten the developing time as much as possible. One of the important features to achieve such a target is the support of auto-tuning, given the large design space to explore. Now getting back to these frameworks, we found that they either did well in one or two of the above metrics. Neither of them has reached a balance between these three targets. Given such a failure had resulted in reality, where none of these works were used in practice, while manual design process still remains unknown. In the rest of this talk, I will present our framework out of SA, a package compiler for high performance system arrays on IPJ, which overcomes the limitation of print works to achieve high levels of generality, performance, and productivity at the same time, thus making generating high performance system arrays accessible to general designers on IPJs. The figure in the middle shows overall completion flow of AutoSA. AutoSA takes the input program written in C code and lowers it into the polyhedral intermediate representation. Then, using the polyhedral compilation framework, AutoSA performs a series of program transformations 
to transform the input program to an optimized one that is quite one high performance install rate. The final output is Settings HLC code that can be synthesized on Settings FPGAs. The code generator can be extended to support other platforms as well. Autoisy supports the principle work in all three dimensions. First, as for generality, we propose and implement a set of novel algorithms based on the call info model to handle general applications so that Autoisy can support programs with imperfect nest loops with multiple statements. Next, performance wise, Autoisy incorporates a rich set of hardware optimization techniques to achieve high performance. Such techniques including array partitioning, latency hiding, SMD virtualization, double buffering, data packing, and etc. Lastly, AutoSC boosts the productivity by providing an end-to-end -end compilation flow. In addition to that, it implements many tuning knobs for each compilation step to control the compilation process. These knobs can either be explored by programmers manually or explored by an tuner to search the data space automatically. In the next few slides, we will dive further to introduce more details about the compilation flow. As mentioned earlier, the input program is a C code to be mapped to the C star rate. Here we show an example program of matrix markation that can be used at the input of AutoSC. Note that we use the payout pragmas to annotate the code region that we are interested to transform to the C star rate. AutoSC is built on polyhedral compilation framework. The input program is first passed through the polyhedral front end to be transformed to the polyhedral IR. The polyhedral model plays a fundamental role in AutoSC. It is a mathematical convention framework for loop nest transformation. Note that the polyhedral model is only applicable to a subset of general loop programs, named static control parse programs. However, such a category is general enough to handle most of high-performance computing applications. Lastly, polyhedral convention framework offers a set of complete and robust toolchains, which makes it possible to build such a flow like AutoSA. The rest of convention flow is then operated on the polyhedral IR. The first step is checking if the input programs are legal to be mapped to the system rates. Here we list two major criteria that we examine in this step. First, all the dependencies of programs should be uniform dependencies, which means that the data dependency distance on the loops should be constant. This property makes sure that the system rate can be statically scheduled without any complex runtime control logic. Second, we require dependent distance on loops that are to be mapped to different processing elements to be no greater than one. This property makes sure that the communication only happens between neighbor P's that maintain the locality characteristics of C star rays. After making sure that input program can be mapped to C star ray, we start the transformed program to a C star architecture. The figure in the middle shows a complete C star architecture for matrix markation. The C star ray is composed of two parts, the P array and the IO network. Both are critical to make the system functional and to achieve high performance. In AutoSA, we separate designing of the PRA and the IO network into two separate stages to create a clear interface between the design and optimization process. These two steps are named as computation and communication management. The program will be first passed through the stage of computation management. This stage constructs and optimizes the PRA. Specifically, it contains four minor steps including space-time transformation, in which the program will be transformed to a system array using space-time mapping, array partitioning, in which the array is partitioned to smaller subarrays to fit limited on chip area, latency hiding, in which loop transformation are performed to hide the computation latency and achieve fully pipeline, and lastly, SMD virtualization, in which we vectorize computation inside piece to amortize the control overheads. The next step is communication management. This step constructs an optimized I.O. network. Specifically in this step, we aim to answer the following questions. First, what hardware modules to be generated off the I.O. network? Second, under the scope of polyhedral framework, how do we generate these modules? Lastly, to achieve the best performance, what other optimization should we apply to the I.O. network? For the first question, after studying the Manual design, we group the hardware modules in the IO network into two categories inter array communication modules, which handle the data transfer between P's, outer array communication modules, which handle the data transfer between P's and an external memory. For the first category, 
We insert data transfer logic inside PEs and allocate five folds between PEs if necessary. For the second category, we will generate separate IO modules for transferring data between the PE array and external memory. After figuring out what exactly to generate in this step, the next question is how to generate the IO network. There are two key ideas here. First, data communication is determined by the data dependencies. Polyhedral framework supports process data dependence analysis. With this capability, we extract three types of data dependencies from the program, read, flow, and output data dependencies. These three types of data dependencies correspond to three different types of data to be transformed, which are read-only data, intermediate data, and the computation results. As an example, for the matrix markation, we can extract four data dependencies from the program. The first one is the read dependence for reusing the array access of HIK. And the second one is the read dependence for reusing the array access of BKJ. The third one is the flow dependence for accumulating the intermediate results of CIJ. And the fourth one is the output dependency for collecting the final results of CIJ. Given the depend data dependencies, the next key idea is to group data dependence given different properties. We will group them together if they share the following two properties. First, they are from the same array and of the same dependence tab. Second, they have the same dependent distance vector on the space loops. For all dependencies in the matrix markation example, based on the above criteria, we can group them into four different IO groups. So for each IO group, we can generate a set of IO modules to transfer data between the array and the external memory. As an example, for the first IO group G1, the data dependence vector on the space loops is 0, 1 which means that data are reused horizontally. Accordingly, we will allocate local interconnects between P's to transmit data through horizontal interconnects. For the second IO group, G2, the data dependent distance is 1, 0. Accordingly, we generate IO modules to transfer data vertically. As for the third group, G3, the dependence vector is 0, 0, which indicates data are accumulated locally inside P's. There is no need to generate any IO modules. For the last group G4, the dependent distance is 0, 0 as well. However, for such a case, as the dependence is output dependencies associated with the data to be written out to the external memory, we will need to allocate IO modules for draining out the data from each PE. After constructing an IO network, there is one more question to ask. How can we optimize it to achieve the better performance? Now let's take a look back at one of the IO networks we have generated in the last step. One important problem in such an IO network is that each IO module is directly connected to the external memory, leading to high fan outs. With a large number of P's on chip, this architecture leads to high fan out problems, which makes it difficult for IPG Simpsons 2 to achieve high frequency. To overcome this problem, we choose to localize the IO network. By its name, we will allocate a series of IO modules to pass data from each other. After this optimization, both the IO network and the P arrays only contain the local interconnects, which is one of the critical characteristics of this story architecture. In addition to these techniques, several other optimizations are implemented, considering the complexity of the IO network, including double buffering for overlapping data transfer from the computation, data packing for increasing the IO throughput, and so on. After the communication management, we have a complete and optimized C story, which can be lowered to target hardware design languages such as settings HRC for the settings FPGAs. All the applications that we have mentioned in the previous steps introduce a large design space. AutoSC exposes the tunable knobs to the users to enable them to optimize the programs manually. However, it is usually impractical for programmers to explore such a design space manually. To solve this issue, we also introduce an auto-tuner exhaustively search the design space for optimal designs. At present, our optimization target is to find design with the least latency given the results constraints. In the last part of this talk, we present the evaluation results of AutoSA. AutoSA is built using the PAT and ISL framework. The AutoTuner is written in Python. We target settings IPJs and using settings writers for same size and designs. All the designs are evaluated on settings LWL U250. As for the application benchmarks, we evaluate AutoSA on five different applications. The table in the middle shows detailed configuration of each application. We assess our framework in three dimensions. First, for generality, 
We show that all the can handle applications with complex dependent structures. We use the LU decomposition as example. The figure on the left shows the dependent structure of its application. Each node represents one loop instance, while the edges between them represent data dependencies. The iteration domain of this program is in a pyramid shape with different types of commission inside each node. As an example, AutoSC can map it to a triangular ship system array. The figure on the right shows the detailed macro architecture of the array. We may notice that different ships of ion network are generated following the dependent structure of this architecture. We also compare the performance of generated system array versus the LaPack benchmark on the CPU. The generated design achieved an average speed up of the 6.8 versus the CPU baselines. Next, with the general combination framework of AutoSA, we are also able to explore different choices of system architecture. As an example, here we show three different system arrays generated by AutoSA for matrix markation. The first one is a one-dimensional system array. Data of matrix C are accumulated inside each PE. The second one is a two-dimensional system array. Data of matrix C are accumulated inside each PE, and the data of matrix A and B are reused across PEs. The last one is also a two-dimensional array. However, the data of matrix C is no longer accumulated inside PEs. Instead, we transform, transform intermediate results across PEs, and the final column of PEs emit the final results. The table shows the best results we have achieved on the target IPJ for these three designs. Overall, we found the second design achieved the best performance. In comparison, 1D system array limits the design space with only one space dimension to explore. As for the third design, it eliminates the reuse opportunity of matrix A and requires data to be injected into each P separately. That increases the hardware comp complexity and limits the final performance that can be achieved. As discussed earlier, this different architecture shows different trade-offs and raises important research direction in the architecture community about finding the best data flow given certain application. The general completion capability of AutoSA has made this task possible and easier. We are expecting researchers to leverage AutoSA to perform all architecture studies in the future. The second dimension to evaluate is performance. With a comp comprehensive coverage of different hardware optimization techniques and the support of tuning, we are able to generate designs with high performance. As an example, this table shows performance of the general designs for matrix markation under different data precisions. We compare it to several previous work that achieved high performance as well. Note that AutoSC achieved rather high performance with both high frequency and high fre results usage. In addition, the general designs achieve high DSP efficiency at 94% that indicates the high efficiency of the design. This table shows the results on other benchmarks. AutoSC is able to achieve high performance on all these benchmarks. More importantly, the general designs are highly efficient with an average ESP efficiency of 99%. The last part is productivity. Here are some rough numbers of the completion process based on our experiments. The polyhedra completion takes us a few seconds, while the other tuning phases take hours to finish. Considering time it takes for IPG synthesize to synthesize designs, in our case, which is around one to two days, we are able to deliver a high performance system design within days which helps boost the productivity of the designing process. Lastly, as a conclusion, in this talk, we present our work AutoSA, which is a polyhedral model-based system recompiler for IPJ. The goal of this project is to maximize the generality, performance, and productivity of the compiler to enable an easy access to system architectures. AutoSA achieves this goal with a set of comprehensive algorithms based on the polyhedral framework to compile the system array and incorporates the risk side of hardware optimization techniques to achieve comparable performance to many designs. Lastly, by implementing the end-to-end -end flow with the support of tuning to boost the productivity. We have shown that it is feasible to use AutoSA to generate designs with high performance that is comparable to many designs in a short amount of time. And we're also hoping that this tool can open a new gate to more application and architecture studies. AutoSA is already open sourced and we're actively maintaining and improving it. We're also open and welcome to any new contributions or feedback. Thanks for listening and please let us know if you have any questions.